What's going on YouTube? Today I have a Asus ZenPad Z10 model ZT500KL. It's a P001 and it's uh, running on Android version 7.0 and it's uh, uh, with Verizon. Now I made this video uh, due to a few people saying with a, uh, another video that I made a while ago that uh, when I repress the globe um, on the keyboard you don't see the, or not the globe but the microphone and you don't see the globe here. And, and usually whenever you see that globe, it's how you get to Google. Um, in this case, you don't see it. I just took it off real quick. Uh, if not, it's going to start uh, typing what I just said. But uh, anywho, as you can see, this device is Google account account log. Um, what you gonna what you need first is connect to Wi-Fi. Once you're connected to Wi-Fi, uh, let's begin. I just wanted to show you guys that it is Google account log. Um, I'm not sure if you can see, but this has a back arrow key on the bottom. Just in case some of you guys don't see that. Um, from here, we can see on the bottom where it says vision settings. And we're gonna enable talkback. Talkback should be the last setting on the in the list. Uh, and enable it. As you can see, this comes up, hit okay. Talk back on. And Talk this back comes is a screen reader primarily Once for people up, with blindness and low vision. It, it allows out. interaction and with the device go. using spoken feedback. Now once this comes up, select tutorial. talk back showing settings. items one talk back. Alert you're double global tap context it. Once menu. Once you, once you Alert talk back. Top top back settings. And Sound volume see, It's gonna be hard to navigate the settings. But once you're at this uh, page where it says talk back settings, you're gonna deactivate talk back. Holding power Alert, talk back. or not power. Volume up and volume down at the same time. Again, it's gonna show you, tell you here. If you want to disable the uh, talk back, just hit OK. Okay. And talk back tap. suspended. And we're good to go. Um, from here, scroll to the bottom. Look for help and feedback. And a YouTube or not? Not yet. I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, look for about switch access for Android is the first one. And here, this is the YouTube video I was talking about. Hit play. Um, depending on your device, you may be able to hit the arrow key. In my case, I've had this happen before. Just hit the clock. The clock should take you to YouTube. And there we go. Hit OK. No thanks. And I apologize for the lighting. Like I said, I was going to make this video, but I was, I was thinking to myself, if I don't make it now, I'm never going to make it. Um, once we're here, you're going to go and type sidebar APK. Side. Bar. It should come up. You can see. And this is right here. It should be the sidebar light 4.0. 4.40. And latest on the right hand side. And download. This is going to be useful. You're going to accept and allow. Allow. And it's going to come up permit. Or oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. On the bottom. Sorry, I'm trying to get the full screen here. Once you allow, OK. Open. And settings. And hit unknown sources. Allow. Once you enable unknown sources, as you can see, it's enabled now. This will allow you to, uh, to, uh, continue to install those, these apps now if you missed it let's download download it again is there's no biggie um, we can download this as many times I mean it's gonna reset at the end open install once it's installed we're good to go um, you get two options make sure you hit open now if you hit done by mistake download it again follow these steps again to so you can hit open and on the bottom right hand, okay. This is very useful. The reason I'm saying this is because you just slide it from the side. Slide it from the side. You can add, you can see this, these toolbars. And you can add a few things. You're going to add file manager. Oh, shoot. I'm getting ahead of myself. File manager. Let's delete this. File manager for now. And once we have this, you're going to download or you're going to type quick shortcut maker. Quick short. If it comes up, here we go. Quick shortcut maker, and this should be the first one to come up. 2.4.0. Again, with the previous APK, you're gonna see latest version. Download. 
if I can hit it. And on the bottom, it should say, if you want to continue, just hit OK. And open. Install. Open. And since I was telling you earlier, let's continue. This side, this toolbar is gonna help. And from here, you're gonna type Ben Rom. V N Rom. If it comes up beforehand, the for bypass. Ben Rom bypass. Depending on how this comes up, it should come up as account to uh, 2019. It can come up as 2018. It's uh, the same thing as long as you can see the Venrom on top. From here, look for Venrom uh, FRP bypass. There we go. And you can see these, this comes up. These uh, files come up. Just hit X. And it should give you the option to allow. And OK. I believe, yes, OK. And it should begin downloading. Once it's finished downloading, open. Just hit next and continue. Once it's installed, it should take you. You can you can hit open. It should take you here. This is what you should be seeing. And just hit the back arrow key. Now, since we're here, toolbar again. We're gonna hit settings, the gear option. Just hit back. This should come up because this is where we were. Hit back again. Don't panic. Settings. Again, see the settings is always going to be there, so don't panic if you don't see it. Just hit back, back to you eventually see it. From here, you look for application manager, application manager. From here, there should be three dots on the top right hand corner. They're up there, and look for system settings. Right hand corner. Once you tap that, all the system apps should come up. You're going to disable two things. You look for Google account manager, it's in here. Google account manager and you're gonna disable and force stop and you can look for Google Play Services right here if you can see it Google Play Services don't get carried away make sure it's not Google Play Oops. touching it oh and you know what I forgot to do go, let's go to settings it's not gonna allow I forgot to tell you guys to go to security. Security, and you gotta uncheck uh, where it says device administrator. And if these both are checked, uncheck them both. If uh, in my case it's just one, you're gonna deactivate this, and you can see they're both unchecked now. Now, if you missed that, it's gonna be in security. As you can see on the top right hand corner, this the security tab. Right, right here, security, and that should pop up. Now let's try this again. Uh, Google Play Services. I'm trying to get the full views here. Now it gives us the option. Once we uh, uncheck those, now it gives us the options to uh, disable and force stop. All right, now we can continue. Now using the sidebar. Let's add quick shortcut maker. Where is it at? Since it's already installed, it's right here. Shoot. Just tap it and it's already added there. Okay. Quick shortcut maker. And from here, look for Google Play Services. And you can try the first one. It may or may not work. If, it's, if nothing happens, it's a little tricky. Now I'm trying to get you the full view, full view here. Just hit cancel. I apologize because my camera angle wasn't as good. And try the second one. As you can see, this is the first and this is the second. Try the second one and hit try. And it should take you here. All right, once you're here, if, if, if you messed up somewhere, this wouldn't come up or it's gonna say input the previous uh, account or Google account. But if, as you can see, it says sign in with a new one. Um, if you don't have one, create one. Um, in my case, I have one. Unfortunately, I can't be able. I can't. I'll, I will not be able to share my uh, credentials.
Or you know what? I'm gonna use another one. I don't know you can see it, but it's just easier for me. And now it says sign in. Again, like I said, I'm not going to share my password. Once you sign in, hit agree. And it's going to check info. And boom. Open app again. Now, if you uh, get again, if you did this correctly, you should see the email account that you sign in with. This is the email account that I'm using. This is just a a, uh, a random account that I just created, so you guys will not be able to see me replying. But anywho, um, once you have that in, um, in, added in there, you're gonna restart the device. Good old Verizon. Before I reach the end of this video, I want you guys to uh, like, uh, share, and subscribe if you have found this video Talk helpful. Back suspended. And again, since we enabled Talkback earlier, Talkback is going to be enabled. And again, that's deactivated using volume up and down at the same time. Using Google Text to Speech Engine, corner. Sidebar light on top, top back on bottom. And Exit okay. button. Okay. Set up. Top back suspended. Okay. Since we had sidebar earlier, like I said, it's, it's really helpful. You're going to go to settings, and this time you're going to go to application manager. Re remember how we deactivated two apps? We're going to go to disable, and what you're going to do now is enable. Google account manager is not in here, so show system there we go enable now if, if if I lost you guys and you're like what had happened you can just go to app all apps and show show system and unfortunately I already tapped it and it should say show disabled on the right hand side unfortunately this one is always going to be disabled don't worry about it um, and just uh, enable Google Account Manager and uh, Quick or Play Services, just those two, and then and then just get back on track. Now that we have those activated, we're just gonna head back and we should get to the welcome screen. All right, we're here. Next, connect to Wi-Fi. Let the magic work itself. And again, if you did this successfully, it says account added. Um, and uh, with your uh, real email or your fake email, whatever the case may be, just hit next. And you should hit payday with, with that and you should be able to uh, proceed. One thing I do suggest is once you get to the menu, I, re I really recommend you guys to uh, factory restore the device just to avoid anything left behind. Um, I don't want to have any troubles in the future, so be sure to do that factory restore. And, and reset the device up and from there you should be good to go give it a minute we're almost there um, there we go and I'm just gonna scroll right past this, you know, I'm not even gonna worry about this now. And this comes up, again, like I said, just proceed. I'm gonna restore this anyway. Not sign set up. And I believe you should be good from there. Now, it, now if it, if it Re uh, boot you back. Don't worry about it. You should be good to go. 
like I said, uh, just restart the device. In this case, it, bo it booted me back. Um, sometimes this happens, but, but don't panic. Like I'm staying with this video because you never know what happens. But usually, whenever this happens, you just you're, you're, you you should be able to proceed. There we go. See? Nothing to worry about. Sometimes that happens. Some people panic and just give up right away and say, hey, what had happened? But, like I said, I stuck with y'all guys. I've seen it happen. And then from here, like I said, be sure to do the factory restore. Um, just go to backup and reset and the factory data reset. Um, it's going to delete everything on this device, whatever you pre-installed, everything. And from there, there should be a clean device. You should be able to use it to however you want to. Um, if you found this video helpful, guys, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, if you have any questions or comments, be, be sure to leave them below. I'll try to get back to you in a timely manner. I'm usually away from YouTube for uh, every now and then, so don't don't get frustrated. Uh, don't forget, if, if you guys feel like donating too, I'll leave the link in the description. Uh, thanks for any future donations. Everything's free. Don't worry about it. Uh, I guess everyone.